So for question two related to the athletic facilities and updates, uh, some of the new or updated um, facilities that we'd be getting would be a new track. Um, along with that new track would also be a uh, expanded football stadium, which would allow for more seating. Uh, it would also give us eight new tennis courts. Currently, we only have three. Um, we would be getting a new multi-purpose facility, which would help uh, a lot of our different sports. It would actually benefit um, not only hockey, but also tennis, softball, soccer, and other sports that could potentially use that facility. We have three tennis courts that were, are in rather poor condition, have to be repaired and spent quite a bit of time on each year. We'd be adding five extra courts, obviously eight, eight total new courts, but we'd also be getting five more than we currently have, which would allow us to have JV and varsity matches in the same spot, um, which is a great benefit for us. Um, also open to our community, obviously, to be able to use, um, which would be a great benefit for our community to have those brand new courts. So one big change is that we want to take where our two softball fields are currently and move them out um, to a, a different location, which would be next to our multi-purpose facility. Uh, the new plan would be to have three softball fields. Currently, our middle school students do not have their own field to practice on or play games. So the addition of a third field would be very beneficial for our program. Um, and then, as I stated, it would be close to the multi-purpose facility, which would give them a bathroom and a concession area and place for people to park. Um, and then where the current JV and varsity softball fields are, we would be putting a new JV baseball field. Our current field is located a couple of miles away from school. Um, it's not a field that we own, and this would allow us to have a field on property so students don't have to travel for practice or games um, and really simplify the logistics for our baseball team. Uh, the situation right now is that the track is unusable for hosting track meets. We've actually passed on the last two conference track meets, uh, Westby and uh, Arcadia uh, got those meets and it should have been our turn to do it, but because our track is unusable uh, for big meets, we had to pass on those. We can still use it for practice uh, at this time because we are aware of all the cracks where they are and we can avoid the cracks and we also know where the hollow spots are so we can avoid that as well. Uh, but eventually, of course, that's going to become so bad that we're not even going to be able to, to practice on it. Yeah, I, th I think there's a lot of things learned in athletics, um, you know, besides the teamwork thing, but also just uh, personal uh, growth and goals that they have. Uh, currently, we don't have any type of multi you know, purpose facility. The lion shelter is converted into a, a hockey rink in the winter. Um, you know, we're thankful that it's close, it's on campus, uh, essentially, um, but it really doesn't allow us to do anything besides hockey in there, and even that's considered a cold rink, and it's, it's uh, you know, a space that's less than desirable. So this new multi-purpose facility would not only be a spot for our hockey team to practice and play, um, but it would also be a space with locker rooms, bathrooms, concessions for our tennis team, our soccer teams, and our softball team. Uh, along with that, just having a large facility that is able to be open creates all kinds of possibilities for our community.